there's, there's two options here. You've got one option that's best for the rankings, and you've got one option that's best in terms of hype. In terms of rankings, Marab is the fight to make should Aljamain move up. Uh, he's beaten everybody. Look, he's a, a nine-fight win streak. Uh, there's a story to tell there as well because he is Aljamain's teammate. So there is some kind of selling points there. The fact that he's destroying people. Um, and there's, you know, highlights of him doing that, of course. Yeah, okay, he's not finishing people, but like his pace that he puts on people are just is, is just unreal. Depends on what the fans want to see. In terms of hype, of course, Marlon Vera, you know? And yeah, you could say, well, Marlon Vera doesn't make sense because he's ranked in at number six. Um, you know, the counter argument is, well, he has beaten O'Malley. But O'Malley, I think, clearly wants that fight back, you know, because he already shot the promo for it in his post fight interview, didn't he? You know, he said the, the fight, oh, what was, what was Marlon Vera's outcome? Did he, did, he, did he win a boring decision? Yeah, okay, thought so. You know, I think the UFC can use that. So, he wants that fight. You know he does. Maybe he looks at it and thinks it's a fight that he can win. He might think, well, you know, if if I can beat Peter Yarn, who's got insane pace, Marlon Vera doesn't necessarily put pace on people. If I can strike and move against Vera, then maybe I've got a good chance of beating him. You know, because both guys are probably what similar levels of power. I don't know who you'd side power with in that one. Do you decide it with Sugar or do you side it with Vera? It's an interesting uh, question. Uh, George says, got to be Sanhagen versus O'Malley. Only real contender. Marab injured. Okay, yeah. I, Henry Henry is washed out. Sterling move up. Only other option is Cheeto, but I'm not Dana White. Yeah, I, I would love to see Corey Sanhagen put in there. Uh, I really do because I really rate Corey. I don't know if the UFC are going to do that having you know because of the last performance against rob font you know it wasn't lackluster um but then you can make that argument with with cheeto but then on the other flip handball cheeto's already beat him and that's your selling point so the cheeto fight actually makes more sense than Corey sanhagen really when it comes down to it uh